If you're looking for mutt coins to upgrade your mutt game, go to GameRusher.com for cheap and safe mutt coins. You can use my discount code HUB, H-U-B, at the website. Use the first link in the description down below and get that upgrade to your game. What's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's your boy Kush back at it again with another New York Giants video. Welcome in, like, hit that like button, subscribe and share. You guys know the drill. Shout out to all my members in here. Sorry the skit is coming a bit late. I'm definitely going to make a Christmas kind of skit now. If you remember, you guys are going to have it one day early from anybody else. You guys have it early and ad free. You guys will see that. Um, it's still working on it, which is why it's kind of been delayed. It was initially going to be a Giants fans after the Browns game skit, but you know, I just kind of got, I just kind of got delayed with my own life. And then I'm like, it's Christmas week. I'll just turn it into a Giants fans during Christmas skit. So hopefully that comes out fine and you guys will get it definitely before the end of the week. And, um, well, yeah, that's it. Let's get into what I want to talk about today. Two things here. Talk about Xavier McKinney and how he's been impress impressing people around the league and, you know, uh, stat, stat heads, everybody in general, specifically PFF, what they had to say about Xavier McKinney. You guys know my deal with PFF. I respect their stats. It's their opinions on those stats and how they interpret those stats where they lose me. But there's really not anybody else in the league that looks at every single snap of every single player of every single game. So I do give them that. And then I'll talk about kind of a revised, a little bit of reflection on my thoughts on Evan Ingram making the Pro Bowl, which um, you guys were in the stream yesterday. Definitely know that shocked me and I found it extremely funny to no end. So first things first, Xavier McKinney. And I'm getting this from Giants.com. There's an article by Matt Clark. This is what, you know, the two things he jotted down about McKinney. He said, here are the takeaways from the Giants' Week 15 loss against the Browns. Xavier McKinney was the Giants' highest graded defensive player in Week 15 with his 70.5 overall grade. The rookie recorded four tackles, two solo, in just his fourth NFL game and was on the field for 64% of the defensive snaps, easily his highest snap percentage this year. McKinney's grade was aided by a strong 78.3 tackling grade. And if you know anything about Xavier McKinney coming out of college, is that he was a hard hitting safety. He was a very strong tackler, so no surprise there. Definitely a little bit of surprise that that was his highest, you know, snap percentage of any game that he played this year. Uh, I think this was his fourth NFL game. Yeah, they said that. I did not notice him on the field that much. Maybe it's because I wasn't specifically looking out for Xavier McKinney out there. Maybe you guys did notice him on the field, but I don't know. He he apparently was on the field a good amount. I just did not notice it. Whenever I did see him here and now though, no here and now then, it was definitely with good tackling in there. And I'm definitely surprised he graded out with the highest grade. I, I mean, given Sunday's performance against the Browns, I probably would have thought it would have been one of the defensive linemen. I, I think we did a pretty good job of trying to contain that monstrous running game with Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb. We really got killed in the passing game. So that that's definitely surprising to me. And then again, they did say he got that overall grade because of his strong tackling grade, not necessarily because of coverage or anything like that. Because let's be honest, we got killed in the passing game. Uh, and then the one other thing they said about McKinney was that he showcased his versatility over the last two weeks while seeing his playing time increased. In the last two games, McKinney's snap counts at each position are as followed. 15 at edge, 10 at linebacker, 33 at slot cornerback, 2 at outside cornerback, and 20 at free safety. And this is something I was touting from the moment that we drafted Xavier McKinney and a lot of other Giants fans as well. A lot of, a lot of the Giants fans going into the draft wanted a guy named Isaiah Simmons, linebacker for Clemson. Simmons, who was not playing, I think, they tried him out Arizona. He was drafted by Arizona. He's... They tried him out at middle linebacker at safety. The reason a lot of people wanted him was because he was that versatile Swiss Army knife tool that any defense would have a great time using if they know how to use him. Arizona's still trying to figure that out. When we got Xavier McKinney, who I still hold, was the best free safety in that draft class. And, you know, he hasn't had the time to show it yet because of his injury. So I'm going to judge him next year, mostly. But I still hold that he's the best free safety. One of the, one of the things that made me get that opinion was because he was just as versatile, if not more, than an Isaiah Simmons. And you're seeing it here. Look at his snap counts and look at where he's playing it. 
He's played most of his snaps at slot corner, which I think that's mostly, a, you know, he's a victim of circumstance there considering that we were missing our slot corner in Darnay Holmes. So that, you know, the Giants and Patrick Graham were definitely trying to rotate that position a little bit to try and see who would fit. And then at free safety, this guy is a Swiss Army nub just like Isaiah Simmons. And a lot of Giants fans were happy when we took him because they were like, yo, we we got what we wanted in terms of a tool that no other defense has and that no offense can technically figure out. And this is one I want to see moving forward from Patrick Graham, the defense, and Xavier McKinney. Should Patrick Graham be here next year? Oh my God, God help me if he's not here next year. What I want to see moving forward is I definitely want to see his snaps even out and him eventually just shifted into being our free safety. I definitely want to see that. I'd rather have, you know, a master of one trade rather than a jack of all trades, master of none. Because that's always, you know, the, the downside of having a Swiss Army knife. I would rather Xavier McKinney start shifting and Patrick Graham start using him at that free safety role a bit more. You know, maybe at that slot corner a little bit every now and again. And if they bring it, on, bring it down on the edge, like on a blitz, that's fine. But if they're really going to go forward with this uh, actual Swiss Army knife thing, and we've seen it fail many times in the NFL, I don't know how to feel about that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to feel about that. I liked him because of his versatility. The reason I liked his versatility is because that meant we could plug him in anywhere, right? That doesn't mean I want him to always be at anywhere all the time on the field. No, I don't want that. It's great that he has the ability to do that. Because it helps us out in situations like this where we're missing cornerbacks and whatnot. But I do want him to focus on one position, master that, and be, you know, an all-pro type of player at that position. When the time comes, when injury strikes again, for example, like it did this year, McKinney has that versatility if needed for the defense to slide him out to another position, slide him down to another position. And that's why I liked his versatility. So don't mistake me saying, oh my god, I love the fact that we got a Swiss Army knife for me saying I want him to be out there at different positions at all time. No, it's just a great, you know, asset to have in your box when injury hits and whatnot. And I'm glad to see they're at least flexing it a little bit because this is, I think that this is where it's going to be used. This is where his versatility is going to be used when we're hit with injuries or we're hit with suspensions or something like that. But let him be the master of the free safety position. That's what I want to see moving forward. And then in terms of Evan Ingram, and Evan Ingram making the Pro Bowl, a little bit of revised, you know, reflection on my thoughts on this. I still think it's absolutely hilarious that Evan Ingram makes the Pro, the pro Bowl. I think he's either leading all safeties or, I mean, all tight ends or second in all tight ends and drops and whatnot. And I don't even need to get into the stats. We all know the story on Evan Ingram. Just the most inconsistent guy out there. Uh, extremely athletic and, and tons of athleticism. Uh, I'm done calling it potential because athleticism doesn't always equal potential but tons of athleticism could be a great receiving tight end if he could just master catching the football but that's been the problem all year long um, he seems to have conquered his demons with the injury which we all thought was his biggest problem but now it's just you know holding on to the football uh to be fair i guess uh every other wide receiver on the team has had a problem with catching the football this year as well but getting back to evan ingram when I look back at a tight end competition this year, for the Pro Bowl, it kind of makes sense. It, after, you know, um, you talk about Kittle, you know, basically going down with the injury and whatnot, Ertz going down, it's not that much competition at the tight end spot. TJ Hawkinson, I think, is the starting, and then Evan Ingram is the backup. Somebody that I definitely thought could have made it over him at the tight end position is Robert Tanyan. He's having a good year. You know, but other than that, it's like it's not tough competition. So it's kind of understandable. It's literally like Ingram makes it by process of elimination, which makes it a little even more hilarious. Um, You guys all know my opinion on him. I don't like him as a player, but as a human being, as a person, I have respect for him because he's a he's a good human being. He's a good person. I got nothing against Evan Ingram, the person. And it definitely did warm my heart a little. I won't lie to you guys. When I saw the Twitter video of Howard Cross telling him that he was selected to the Pro Bowl, you just see the shock, the shock and excitement, the light in his eyes. You know, he lit up. That definitely touched my heart a little bit. So I do want to get that out there as well. Uh, that's what I got for you all today. Put your comments down below and let me know what you all think. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.